Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel. A few weeks ago I was um, solving a, it wasn't really a starting issue, but it was a, a running issue which generally happened um, from cold and um, it would then clear itself on restart. It was kind of lumpy running um, and then you know, you may go an entire journey absolutely fine, and then other times it um, it would perform like a pig. So uh, this was on a 2008 Volvo V70 D5, um, but the same principle with throttle bodies really um, applies to any other car, really, um, which has a, an electronic throttle body just like this, whether it be a petrol or a diesel. At the end of the day, they receive inputs from the engine computer, dependent on you know any number of factors, and uh, you want to make sure your throttle body is working correctly. As it was, uh, the throttle body was not the cause of the problem on this car, and uh, and I'll show you basically how I managed to test the throttle body um, and and see that its operation was absolutely fine, and so I knew that whatever the problem was uh, it, it didn't lie there as it was it um it really from a, a dpf pressure sensor um recalibration and a new fuel filter that appears to have uh, sorted out the problem and uh, it's been fine for a few weeks now so i'm just getting access um to the throttle body housing and we've got this main pipe which um comes from I think this if I remember right from memory this is direct then from the intercooler and uh, then goes into the into the throttle body and uh, onwards into the engine and so the the throttle is basically a flap which uh, opens and closes at various degrees when it's fully closed the um, you know it can shut the engine off because it doesn't allow airflow you can remove the whole body if you want there's actually four bolts on this particular one holding it to the engine um, which are being indicated one's just slightly out of sight just there and if you look at it um, yeah it's just basically this this disc and so you've got wide open throttle which is the position it would be there fully closed would switch the engine off and then somewhere in between uh, dependent on need now I was able to use the uh, Volvo software Vida, which basically allows you to interact with various components and activate them basically. And as you can see from me um, doing the open and closed activation on Vida, you can see that although it's slightly coked up and it's got some you know carbon on it, the throttle opens fully, closes fully. There's no dragging. There's no sticking. It doesn't, you know, stop halfway. It's a very nice snappy action. And it really was that simple. Now, of course, cleaning, cleaning it up with carb cleaner is good preventative. Um, and that will be that will happen in the future. But there's certainly no issue with this throttle body right now. And uh, so I was able to eliminate that and move on to the next thing. So, yeah, if uh, you suspect your throttle body and you have uh, diagnostics to move it then uh, this is a great way of uh, just doing a visual inspection and making sure everything's working as you expect.